Thanks very, very, very much. So this was uh, a rondo in C minor by uh, J.S. Bach's most famous son, and uh, he was very, very prolific, uh, Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach. He, wo he wrote tons of keyboard music, and uh, unfortunately, it's really, really underplayed. Uh, pianists haven't really... Uh, 
uh, turned their attention to it enough, you know, because there's tremendous riches there. And as I discovered when I started reading through this stuff, it's just amazing. The invention, uh, the angularity. I mean, and this, there's a lot of pieces like this in his uh, production, which like this are really full of almost absurd surprise surprises, you know, so um, it's a it's it was a delight to discover this music as I was reading through it. It's like opening a great Christmas package in one after another. You know? Anyway, uh, I, I would encourage pianists to uh, delve into his production more and also you know, listeners to really turn their attention to it because there's a lot there. Uh, now, uh, I've chosen to play next uh, one of the most wonderful short pieces that I know of, and I'm not saying this lightly. Um, it's by William Bolcom, uh, a composer who is still with us at this uh, at this stage. I had the wonderful experience uh, earlier this year of recording all of his uh, piano rags, and he wrote 27 of them. Bill was really at the forefront of the ragtime revival in the late 60s and early 70s, and. Uh, uh, along with uh, performing ragtime himself, you know, he 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 wrote uh, a lot of them in a wonderful style, and this is by far the best known of uh, all of them. It's called Graceful Ghost Rag. Thank you. 
that's always been one of my favorite encores. Um, now, if I may be so bold and vain as to introduce a piece of my own, uh, this is uh, a short piece that I was asked to um, write uh, for the uh, Van Cliburn 2017 piano competition. And um, this is a piece that was required of all 30 contestants to play in the first round. And of course, my greatest fear in writing it was that by the end of the round, you know, everybody, you know, judges, public contestants would be absolutely sick of it. Uh, but uh, it didn't turn out that way somehow. Uh, and uh, I, to, to me, this was one of the greatest experiences that I've ever had as a composer, because uh, I, I mean, it earned me 30 premieres. 30 different, played by 30 different people, each in their own way, and it was a joy and a tremendous learning experience. Uh, and just to uh, tell you about the origin of the piece, it's based on what is possibly the oldest popular song in existence. I think it was, uh, it, it, it sort of came onto the scene around the 1400s, and it's called L'Homme Armé in French, The Armed Man. So uh, this is uh, sort of a free fantasy, a short free fantasy on the song. It's called the Toccata on L'Homme Armé. And thank you so much, all of you. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. I'm thrilled to be here.